What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Samurai Sunny One here bringing another video. Today I wanted to bring a video talking about uh, Power Rangers Dino Supercharge Episode 4. Uh, so this episode was a really, really um, cool episode. Uh, you may think to yourself, it's mainly filler, but at the same time there is an aspect that is pretty important. Like, one of the things is, like, there's two aspects that are very important about this episode. Uh, that's great. And uh, one of the things that's good about the filler episodes is that though they're filler, like though this one and the last one are technically considered filler, they're filler, but they're important filler. They're not just like, oh, okay, here's an episode that means very little. No, no, no. These episodes actually have some significance. Um, so this episode is entitled A Date with Danger. Um, pretty good title. Uh, pretty much sums it up. So, you know... Who's the ranger that loves to date? Chase, of course. So uh, this is an episode focused around him, and you know he usually gets the filler episodes, but at the same time, he's still a really cool character. So the episode starts off with the rangers in their base. You know they're doing some work or whatever, and they're talking about and they're kind of making fun of Chase because you know Chase is known for you know dating and all that stuff, and you know doing all you know not being the most uh, particularly you know well-mannered uh dating man like one of the things that i always find funny and I, i've gone back and rewatched kiro ojir very recently which is the japanese equivalent and like he actually has some he actually has some deeper meaning behind his like falling in love with all the girls in japan but in but in america here he's just dating because he's just dating um <laughs> it's not this like the, there's a bigger meaning in japan anyway um so this episode, you know, it starts off with that, with that whole entire conversation about, like, you know, making fun of him. And then he goes out, and he goes on a date with this girl. Her name is Haley. And uh, she seems like a perfectly nice person. And, you know, he's skateboarding and all that, you know, showing off and, you know, doing all sorts of stuff like that. Um, and so, you know, clearly he is a ranger that... You know showboating a lot and she's bored of him like she finds him pretty um uninteresting um and just kind of a bland bland character so because of this you know she's uh, she looks at him with less respect so you know he, he starts talking about himself and doing all that stuff and she's not really interested it's pretty clear to the audiences but he denies it all so that's all happening i'm just trying to see here now what was next so then, following all that, we then see um, our monster for the ep episode, which his name is Singe. Um, for those that are curious about Singe, Singe did appear. Like, Singe is super, super important um, in this season, so he definitely is gonna reappear a bunch of times. Um, he's like the same level of like villain as you know a lot of the bigger ones. He's not just a like a one-time character. So he's a he's a reoccurring villain that will show up a lot, and he's not just a, a one-time case that's small. He's pretty significant. Um, and in a toy fair, which just happened, uh, his toy was shown off already, though it was in really early prototype. Just wanted to make you aware. Um, so following all that, we uh, you know he's interested in joining them and helping them deal with the rangers and getting the energies and all that, and. Um, you know, um, following all this, um, Tyler ends up finding this letter that he reads, um, which in the letter it basically refers to that there was this guy who was the last person that actually knew and actually spoke to his, fa his uh, Tyler's father. So clearly Tyler is interested in this, and you know, obviously he reads this letter. But in the middle of reading it, you know, he gets interrupted by you know Singe who appears and attacks them. Now, one thing that is pretty important about this episode is that clearly you know they're trying to take things um, from the. Uh, Sentai, because one of the things that they, they, they kind of have to do uh, is give him headaches. Why is that something that's essential? It's because it's not something they can really cut out without it looking bad. So, you know, they had to bring that over, though they emphasize it a lot more here than they do in Japan. But it's not overly emphasized, but it's de there's definitely a, a noticeable amount of, like, re repetitive saying, like, oh, I have a headache or whatever, or, oh, this is giving me a headache. Um, so that all happens. Tyler and Chase uh, fight him. Eventually the other rangers come in. Um, 
And then at one point, you know, um, Singe ends up actually um, attacking this old woman by, by, by chance, and she falls over, and, and, you know, Haley's going by, and she's, like, driving somewhere. And so the thing is, is that, you know, um, when she's doing all this, uh, Chase ends up saving the old lady and, like, tries to figure out a place to put her in, help protect her or whatever, and, you know, Haley offers to put her in her, uh, in her car. And the thing is, is that she doesn't know that Chase her boyfriend is the Black Ranger, but he knows who she is. So it's kind of that awkward situation. And this is the done concept. This has been done before, um, this idea. Like, uh, So I, I, I've, I remember seeing this in other seasons. Like, I think Time Force had this. Um, in Space had this. So, uh, you know, definitely been done before. Um, so that all happens. Um, since... Sinj eventually also discovers, you know, eventually what happens is, is that Sinj uses special attacks, and, uh, you know, Haley is attracted to the Black Ranger. Not to, not to Chase, but to the Black Ranger. Um, so then eventually Sinj does special attacks, and eventually Fury and Sinj fight, and eventually they have to retreat at one point. And when, they, when they're back in, uh, you know, sli- you know the, the old ship, uh, villain base or whatever, uh, you know, uh, Wrench gets a photograph that shows, you know, Chase and Haley together and ends up coming up with this idea to use love to kind of, you know, take advantage of the situation and prevail in a way that, you know, things are in his favor when it comes to dealing with Chase. Uh, really isn't taken advantage of as much as it could have been, but it was a plan that he wanted to do and it didn't work out at all. Like, his plan didn't actually, didn't work out at all, and it's one of the things that's kind of unusual about him as a villain, is that usually, like, he has some special ability, and, like, his special abilities are all attacks, but, like, it, this plan that he had in mind really didn't work out to, to the same way that, you know, I'm sure he, I'm sure would have been, would have made a lot more sense, so it's kind of a weird situation. Um, anyway, so this all happens, eventually Tyler talks to uh, Shelby about how, like, about how he fa- he found this letter about this from this guy who knew his father last, and his name was Rusty, and how sh- how he's gonna go out and go and find him and speak to him and learn about like his father and all that. So you know, there's clearly that aspect. Tyler even gives Shelby a kiss before he goes out on the cheek. But you know, there's still that chemistry going on. You know, that constant like, ooh, we're leaning towards like them being in some sort of relationship, and you know, it's pushing and pushing and pushing and coming closer and closer. You know. So uh, this is obviously a step for her that definitely takes her by surprise, but makes her more than anything happy. Uh, so that all happens. Um, so then what happens is is that uh, you know Chase ends up showing his me- his medals and his trophies and stuff because apparently he's like this guy that's done a whole bunch. He's got a whole bunch of medals and trophies, and he's like pretty successful. And the thing is, that he's all about himself. So she's pretty bored with him, and so she eventually is like, "Oh, this is great, but you know what?" Uh, I'm going to have to, uh, you know, break up with you. And at first he doesn't really think much of it, but then he realizes, wait, you're saying you're breaking up with me? And then he ends up asking, like, well, who, like, I, like she ends up mentioning that she, she has someone else that she's seeing and she wants to see him. And, and the thing is that he ends up asking, like, who is this person? And she ends up saying, well, you know what? It's the uh, Black Ranger. Uh, I really, really like him and she uh, you know he's obviously like really okay and he wants to say like oh he is him but at the same time he knows he can't just do that so you know in the base they end up talking and he's like complaining about like how could the black ranger do this to me but it's like you are the black ranger and it's this constant like joke about like the two about the fact that he's jo- he's like getting annoyed at himself which you know it's that whole entire aspect and it's very it, it, you know it's done well it's done really really well with some you know pretty subtle but like done pretty smooth humor that uh you know definitely gets across this feeling of like you know he's annoyed and you know he's a guy that likes to scheme a lot so he eventually realizes hmm she likes him so why don't i dress as him he doesn't say this but he he's basically he, he thinks about it and the idea is, is that he ends up going out and you know dressing as the Black Ranger, and he ends up meeting her, and he and he also in in the middle of this whole entire like getting annoyed at himself, he ends up finding out from Shelby because Shelby questions him about about like how how he like lost her as a girlfriend, and 
you know, the, the biggest problem for him is that he's all about himself and he, he didn't even ask anything about her. So basically he's talking all about himself and she knows plenty about him, but he, but he knows nothing about her and she, she doesn't feel like she, like she matters to him. Like she, like she's just there for him to speak to. She's just a lamppost or something. So she feels small and, you know, unloved to the, to the way that she wants to be felt. And so as the Black Ranger, he treats her with the respect that he should have treated her with to begin with. So it's, you know, it's one of those kind of, like, setups that's very smart, and it's done well. Um, so, you know, he, he finds out that she's interested in space, she wants to be an astronaut, you know, she's she's very much so interested in all this, and, you know, he, he tries to be very, you know, interested in her, and, and, she, and he loves it. But And the only reason why he didn't understand this was because he never asked her, and from all this he learns like if I ask people then maybe I'll learn more about them and maybe I'll actually really like them for who they are not just because oh they're a girl or whatever and it's you know it's one of those like serious but logical setups that really gives you that an understanding of like how things work and what you should do and all that very very nice done well good overall um so that's all done um eventually we end up finding out um you know uh tyler ends up uh, meeting rusty in a cave you know he's doing his own thing and we find out about the story about like what was the last experience that Ty that like you know rusty had with tyler's father who i believe his name was like james something or whatever um i know that, they, that it's been revealed online a bunch of places Anyway, um, he ends up talking about, like, this flashback that he had. We, we go through a, pl a flashback where they show, you know, uh, Tyler and, Tyler's father and Rusty, you know, went on some expeditions. And at one point during their la last expedition together, um, you know, there was a rock slide that was going to occur where, they, where they inside a cave that was supposed to cave in or whatever. And the thing was is that Tyler's father saved Rusty, but in the process of saving him, he ended up being buried by rocks. So, you know, Tyler obviously thinks oh i i hope i i like you know there's still a chance that, that he, he may have got out and you know rusty's like well yeah there might have been but we, we just don't know we haven't seen him or whatever and so you know obviously he, he has hope he, he's interested one thing that is interesting to know i'm not sure obviously right now it could mean a lot of things but it's not certain as to what it could mean but um rusty notices um Tyler's energem. He stared and he, he asked Tyler if he could look at it. And he asked, like, where's it from? And he said, like, oh, I found a, 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 like, wall, uh, you know, hiking or whatever, or like just going around or whatever. And so he looks at it and he says, you're pretty lucky to find this fun. This is pretty nice. He doesn't describe anything, he doesn't say anything, but he acknowledges it. Now, that could mean a lot of things. Not saying anything, I have no idea what it would mean right now, but maybe there's some more to the energems and more to what his father had been looking for that maybe they have a deeper knowledge of this stuff that you know we haven't learned yet so definitely something to consider that i'm pretty interested in like maybe he knows what that is you never know i'm pretty interested now seeing that because um just judging, judging from his reaction as though he as though he knew something about it makes me curious because you know that could go a lot of ways pretty interesting i have to tell you that much um so that all happened and eventually he ends up leaving and you know going elsewhere for a little while um and eventually what happens is is that like you know they go on a date as i said before Haley and the black ranger uh they have a lot of fun and then you know back at the base chase has pictures of himself as a black ranger with Haley, and, and she even wants to know his identity but he can't reveal it but you know clearly there's that like feeling of like he wants to be more connected to her but, but without being able to show his identity he really can't do it and so the thing is he ends up talking to keeper chase and keeper talk to each other and like it's all about the aspect of like how you know they're not because of like is this really a relationship that she's going to be able to really do much with is she really going to be able to love you in a way that she'll be able to enjoy herself and he ends up talking about this with keeper and they end up realizing that this is not going to work out and there's and there has to be something else that he must do and um, anyway what happens is is that um keeper talks to chase about the relationship between chase and Hannah and how things are and uh, eventually what happens is, is that they then break it off. Uh, I'm sorry about that little interruption. Uh, there was an incident a second ago, but no big deal. Uh, anyway, and uh, you know, they have to break it off intentionally and then Chase and, and Haley end up 
um, you know, Chase talks to Haley about, like, how he's sorry, uh, but, like, through the Black Ranger and all that, and, you know, she ends up, like, thinking about going out with him again, but she's not sure because of how the relationship worked out. Um, Sinjin's attacking, uh, attacking, um, Haley alongside Wrench, and eventually Chase ends up saving Haley from, Chase ends up saving Haley, um, while... Um, Jason ends up saving Haley from Singe, and eventually, and eventually she goes to safety. While the other, while eventually the Rangers show up, they end up fighting Singe, and in the process, eventually, you know, uh, five, four of the other Rangers show up, not including Tyler because Tyler is busy elsewhere. Um, chasing the other Rangers while. Any of the Rangers show uh, uh, eventually end up fighting, um, and Tyler's not present at this time, but the other Rangers are, and so eventually you know, Tyler's informed to like go and help out, so he has to do that. In the process, like you know, Chase ends up fighting um, Ranch, and eventually Shelby gets involved, and there's more and more stuff going on. So uh, clearly, there's constant fighting and. You know, they end up using like the triple, uh, triple spike, um, cho and the the cho um, chopper para the dino chopper para chopper blast, and a bunch of other attacks. Uh, eventually, the plesio charge megazord is summoned when Singe gets big, um, and then Chase gets to use the sword finally in dino superdrive mode, and. Uh, you know, it's a big battle, and you know, obviously we've seen three rangers so far use the super drive mode with the sword. Uh, the only two, the only rangers that are left uh, that are major, you know, the main rangers are like, you know, obviously green, blue, gold, and technically purple. There might be gray, don't expect it, but there might be. Um, so that all happens. Um, you know, and they eventually end up uh, dealing with Singe. Uh, Poissandra, you know, is impressed and impressed and feels something for Singe, and like you know, actually is pretty much liking him. And you know, um, uh, Fury gets jealous of the the attention that Singe gets and uses the magnetic to, in this case, reverse it and shrink, um, and and shrink. Um, Singed to a smaller size, and they end up fighting. Eventually, what happens is, is that we then see Fury and Singed in the jail cells, and, you know, Fury has his own jail cell. Though we don't really see it, he does have his own little cell, and the thing is, is that we actually see that, like, Singed is in there, and, like, Singed explains that, like, you know, uh, what, what is it, uh, Heckle was so impressed with, uh, with Singed that, like, he goes out of his way to, um, uh, to reward him by letting him choose any cell he wants, and he chooses Fury cell, and they are fighting and all that, but they don't fight like physically, it's more like just words, and they're just annoyed at each other. Eventually then, following this, um, back in the base, um, not, no, not back in the base, eventually back at the cafe, you know, um, Chase and Haley make up, and they become friends again, and following all this, um, uh, they forgive each other, and you know Shelby ends up mentioning like I thought you were supposed to be dealing with with the with the grill, and he ends up thinking no, you, yeah, I'm dealing with the grill, uh, my girlfriend. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna pay attention to my girlfriend, like he said. And the thing is, he's like no, pay attention to the grill, not your girlfriend. And and he's like wait, I oh, and then he suddenly sees there's a fire, and the episode ends with a kind of a joke bit. That's about it. Um, sorry about the little interruption in the middle. There was there was uh, an issue that I dealt with. No big deal. Um, but uh, next time, hopefully that won't happen. Um, please in the comments what you guys think. Uh, personally, I really enjoyed this episode, though it seemed like it was a, for the most part a pretty sm like definitely a failure episode. Um, you know, it did its job. I know that the fifth episode, I believe it is, um, we should be getting the super um, mode for um, Tyler. I believe so the next episode I think it's the next episode that we get that or it's or it's I believe it's that or it's or we're getting the uh, Aqua Ranger something like that's happening next episode so 
something to be excited for. So uh, please leave your comments below. What did you think of this episode? Was this a great episode? Was this a boring episode? Was it okay? Was it meh? What are you guys thinking about the show so far? Are you liking Dino Supercharge or is it not as good as Dino Charge? Tell me what you guys think so far. Is this great or is this mm, could be better? Tell me all that below and I'll see you guys next time. So until then, guys, uh, this has been Crazy Samurai 71 and I will see you guys in the next video. Um, also, uh, check out some of my other recent videos. I've done some stuff on, uh, you know, um, Toy Fair stuff that's um, for Power Rangers. All exciting stuff. Again, guys, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. So please leave your comments below and goodbye.